Good afternoon, guys. This is Sheba D. I am back with you guys again. Happy Saturday. In my pan today, I got some hamburger meat. Um, I put this hamburger meat on before I started the video because I don't want to keep you guys too long. So we are just going to brown this hamburger meat really good. And um, what I did is I add a little olive oil into my pan with my hamburger meat just to give it like a little kick. Um, I, I cook a lot of foods with olive oil. Um, so over here I have two boxes of um, hamburger helper. As you know, if you ever cook this, you know, when you add your noodles into your hamburger, it don't be a lot. So I use two boxes, and I use lesser hamburger meat. So what I like to do with this particular recipe is I like to um, cook my hamburger meat with a little onion in it. Because what I like to do is kind of work up that um, box flavor. We don't want that flavor like you eating out the box. So I like to put a little onion in it to kind of um, break up that box meal taste. So I add a little onion into my hamburger meat. And I just let that cook into that... Um, into the hamburger meat and brown and I just let that them onions just cook up for a little while just brown it so some of my hamburger meat is kind of frozen still because what I do is I buy my hamburger meat like in box and I put it in the freezer so what I am doing is just kind of breaking it up and browning it a little bit before I add my hamburger helper to this recipe. So if you ever cook hamburger helper, guys, you know when you open this box here, it's very, it's not very much in the box. Um, but every once in a while I buy it and I'll cook it. Like I cut these on sale for a dollar each, so that was a good, that was a good price. So I got them and, um, so I am going to prepare, um, the recipe today like I like it. Now I cook this two different ways. I'm going to add my little all season in there just a little pinch i'm going to add some pepper and i got a good bit of pepper so we got about a, a spoon of pepper and i have some salt here so we're going to put like maybe two pinches of salt in there we just want to kind of kick the flavor up we don't want to over season it because once you put that ingredients from this box all the season is already in there so you don't have to over season it but what I do do is I add onions into the recipe because what I want to do is I want to change the taste of the ingredients in this box between my hamburger meat and this ingredients come out this box I do not want my meal to taste like it came off the box. So I put some onions and I put my seeds in there, as you can tell. And we still got a little hamburger meat that is a little red because it hadn't broke up yet. So so you just make sure you just, you know, break your hamburger meat in pieces so it's kind of small. So, it's, I, I have cooked hamburger heifer a couple of times, and I might cook it different every time I cook it. Like sometimes I'll 
uh, do my little um, docker up the recipe and put it in the oven and bake it. And sometimes I just cook it over the stove like I am doing it now. And as you can see, you are going to make sure that hamburger meat is good and brown. And if you see like some little red pieces in there, you can also just chop it up so it can get brown. So that's what I am doing here. So the reason why I buy my hamburger meat in box like that, because as you know guys, I like to go to the fresh market and I and they have the hamburger meat on sale, maybe they have chicken on sale. So I get a good amount of it and I put some into the freezer for the next time. And that'll save me trips from going to the marketplace. So I buy my meat like that and I keep some freezer bags in my house. When I was growing up, my mother, she cooked a lot of meals and we ate a lot of rice. Um, I don't, I still eat a lot of rice with a lot of my meals, but when I was growing up as a kid, we was from a small town in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and some of you guys might have heard me mention that before, and um, everything we ate, we had rice, everything, she cooked rice, and we ate a lot of beans and rice. Um, I grew up on red beans and rice, navy beans and rice. I mean, I grew up on black eyed peas, uh, navy beans, uh, northern beans. Uh, you have these small red beans from Central America. I grew up on them. Field beans, um, crowded peas. So I am a person that I do eat a lot of beans, and I love beans and rice, so once a month or twice a month, I got me a good pot of beans on. But as I grew older, I grew up, I grew out of the um, so recipe of beans and rice um, as much as I grew up on. Um, I do still eat a lot of rice, like I say, but not as much as when I was a small girl. So what I just did here is I put three cups of water into uh, my pot with my ground beef. And then we are going to let that get hot. And then we are gonna add our recipe with our hamburger helper in. I don't think that I am going to use both packs because I don't think I'm going to need it. But if I don't use both packs of this, then I'm not going to have as much uh, macaroni. And I like the macaroni. So this particular meal, though, will last me and my family for about two days. And... Um, I enjoy it every now and then because it's something different. So now that you have put your three cups of water into your pan and you got your nice cheesy um, saw here, it's like a, I, I call it a sauce, but it's not. If you mix it up with water, it's going to turn like a like a cheesy maybe we're going to do that so we can see how this turned out okay so i am going to just put a little water in here we're going to mix this up so for you guys that have never used um hamburger and helper i wanted to show you how it's going to turn out so see we got this little cheese sauce here and that came out of this little pack that was in there. Okay, so we are just gonna mix it up. And then 
we are going to just throw our noodles in there. And as you can see, when I put the noodles in there, we don't have very much noodles. Okay, so what I am going to do is I am going to open this pack and I am going to put the macaroni in there. But I am not going to use this pack here. Now you could save this extra pack of cheese sauce for something else that you prefer that you want to prepare. Um, you can use it for like macaroni. Late, at a later date, you make it some macaroni and maybe you want a cheese sauce on it, you can add it. But don't throw it away because it's always something you can do with this extra pack of cheese. I'm just not going to use it because I think that um, when I use both packs of the macaroni out of here, um, when I put one pack of these in, because I have tried this recipe before, when I use two packs of these macaroni and one pack of this, it turns out just right. But one time I used both packs of the macaronis and both packs of the cheese, and it was just too much. I just didn't like the taste. So, once again, like I said, we want to break up that um, out-of-the-box taste. So, that's why, again, we're not going to use both cheese. So, we are going to let this cook down a little bit. And you see how I got it cooking down, guys? Now, this recipe here do not take no more than 15 or 20 minutes. And then you got your, yourself a good meal. Um, and sometimes I like to eat this recipe with a nice piece of white bread, uh, French bread, or just regular, um, I love uh, potato bread. Um, and I like cassages with this recipe. Um, you also can make you some cornbread. And if you do not know how to make cornbread, if you look on my video, it will show you on some of the videos that I got. I think I made cornbread, homemade cornbread twice. And I think I made it one time with um, green onions. That's a good recipe that you might want to try. And one time I just made it. But I haven't really got to my butter milk cornbread yet. Um, I haven't got to my hot water cornbread. Is the hot water cornbread is like a day when you just got a lazy day and you just want to store it on top of the stove, cook it, got you some cornbread. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, I am gonna pour our little cheese sauce into the the pot and we're going to stir that up pretty good okay and we are going to just let it cook and then we are going to cut it down low and we are going to add some cheese on top now this cheese on top that I am adding is three different cheeses okay and so that cheese is going to give it an extra flavor also and you're just going to mix it up really good mix your mix everything up real well okay And then you are going to cut your recipe down. You're going to cut it down and just let it simmer. You're going to let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you are going to serve it to your family. So you want to make sure that before you serve your meal, your recipe to the family that your macaronis are done. 
So I will cut it down on simmer or low and put a top on it for about 10 or 15 minutes. Of course, you're gonna to have to watch this recipe because what happens is it sticks to the bottom of the pot. And so, you know, it sticks to the bottom of the pot, guys. And this is how it's gonna look. Now, if you like, you can use both packs of the cheese that came out, out of this hamburger helper container. You're welcome to do so. I just didn't, you know, I just don't want that cheesy flavor. And also, you can add other cheese onto this recipe. Uh, like what I did is I add some regular cheese onto my recipe. But like I said, I wanted to break up that box taste flavor. I don't want that. So I added my own goodies into my recipe and you can do the same and guys here go your hamburger helper and that's what hamburger helper look like and guys i am going to see you on the next video i'll see you on a, another video in a couple days god bless you guys be safe out there um take care of yourself um take care of your family and when you get a chance to try this recipe with this hamburger helper and it's something different and you will enjoy it and i'll see you on the next video god bless you